Hello everyone, welcome to Kadathur. Today we are going to implement a small employee app which is a CRUD operation in ASP.NET Core with Entity Framework Core. So let's get started. Um, first, of all, first of all you have to download the uh, ASP.NET Core SDK from here. Uh, the latest one is 2.1.3. So first of all we have to create a directory Now we need to uh, create a template So dot it new Here we will see the list of templates that provides with ASP.NET Core. So we are going to use the MVC one, which is ASP.NET Core MVC. So the CLI tools, tools will generate the template for us and restore the packages that needed. So restore succeeded. Now we now we are going to open the open the template with Visual Studio Code. So here is our code and with Control Tick. We are going to open the command line here again. So first of all, we have to install two packages uh, for is, uh, for Entity Framework Core. I have already So packages, so entity framework core SQL server package is added. Now we have to install entity framework design. We also have to uh, include the dot net, uh, entity framework CLI tools, which will help us to uh, migrate the database. Our next step is creating a model. So let's create a model with employee. So we're going to implement this, this um, very simple um, model here with employee ID. ID will be the key, primary key. So with data, with the help of data annotation, like that. Name is required field. Also, we'll use string length 250, 255. Our next step is creating. App DB context. So, so 
so employee data can drinks will app data context I will inherit the app data context from TV context data context options which is generic data context options and we will pass the base options we are pretty much done here with app data context now we are going to add the app data context service on startup class So let's add app data context in service. Which is generic. We should take our app data context. And here we are going to pass the connection as well. So we will get the connection string from app setting the JSON here. So let's add the connection string for my PC. The connection string is. this one my server is SQL Express and I am my database is EMPDB and it is it is true so now instead of class I'll get the default so configuration dot get connection string and here we will pass the default so we are pretty much done with uh, connection string and app data context uh, now we are going to migrate the database so in fdb context we did not add anything so let's add our model Okay. So with control period in space. Now we are going to migrate the database. So dot net if migration at any shell so if everything goes well uh, entity framework code will migrate the model with uh, entity framework code database So here is the migration initial database. We can see that uh, you can see that name, age, and ice updated database. Updated database. Dot mm, net. Yeah. Database.
to so the, to see that i am going to open the microsoft sql server and here you can see that updating database is done so so we will see a database here is created so emp app emp db and table employees you can see that that id is a primary key age and name so let's add some data here Uh, now we have some data in our database uh, let's add controller So now we have um, DB context in our controller. Now we can access the data and add insert update delete operation. We can perform insert update delete operation. So I already have the code here. I will copy paste some code here. So we have pretty much done with our controller. What employee controller does is uh, it returns list of employee which we added in the database. It will create these two function will create add new employee to the database and these two function will uh, edit edit the employee and this one will delete. So pretty much mm, simple logic here. No. So let's add add view. So I have already uh, created those view here. So let's add this. To our EMP app folder. So in views, let's add this. So here we'll find the view, view employee, okay. So. Here what it does is um, for creating the view we have some HTML code here for edit editing the uh, employee we have some HTML code here and here is some code to uh, show the list of employee in the table so this .NET build and our project is successfully built that so let's dot net run so in 
local host 5000 you can take this our app which will be employee so here is our employee app so let's try to add some data test 10 test employee 10. so you can see that the data has been added into our database so if you if you want to edit you can update the edit operation if you can delete you can delete the operation so the full source code has been uploaded on the sp.net core emp grad of grad repository you can download the uh, code from here and see the source code uh, if you like this you can give a star and if you like the video if, if the video helps you uh, you can like comment and uh, 